Let me tell you a story about one time I was in my backyard and I was shelling peanuts to make some homemade peanut butter, which is very easy to make, but I must have thrown some of the peanuts into a flower pot because in the fall, when I was cleaning out the flower pots, I pulled out what I thought was a weed, but what I really pulled out was a whole bunch of peanuts. Since that point, I thought, Someday I'm gonna grow some peanuts and I always forget about it. And then when I come around in May, when it's time to grow peanuts, I can never find them anywhere. So this year I decided I was gonna order some early and I ordered some from a website Urban Farmer just found it online. And I ordered two varieties because I didn't know which variety would work the best. And you can get uncooked raw peanuts from the store, but by ordering them online, I was able to know exactly what peanuts I have. So I have some Tennessee Red Valencia. And then in here, that I'm holding in my hand, I have some jumbo peanut seeds. So these are what I'm gonna plant into some grow bags today. So for today's planting of our peanuts, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna have our two varieties of peanuts and I'm gonna do it in grow bags this year. And I have some raised garden soil, which is nice and thin so that the peanuts have places to grow. And we're gonna inoculate our seeds. So let's take our peanuts and let's go over to the grow bags and let's get started. These are the grow bags I have my sweet potatoes in and I decided to get even larger ones for my peanuts because the peanuts are going to take up more room and they'll fall over, which is a good thing. And when they fall over and go back into the ground, that's where they'll grow some more peanuts. So they needed more room. So I bought these giant grow bags. The downfall is they require more dirt. So if you're buying it by the bag, that costs more money. So I filled them about half or three fourths of the way up. So I'm using bigger bags for peanuts than I use for my sweet potatoes. According to peanutgrower.com, the benefit of using inoculant, peanuts can supply their own nitrogen, but only if the rhizobia bacterium is available in the root zone and is in close proximity to the emerging seedling to enter the root and begin fixing atmospheric nitrogen. To do this successfully, there must be a sufficient quality of fresh, vigorous bacteria ready to move into the roots and multiply quickly. This is the most efficient and sustainable means of supplying nitrogen to the peanut plant. All right, so here we go. We're going to plant our peanuts. We're going to start with the Tennessee Red Valencia today that I'm going to put into this grow bag. And I have to put it into dirt that is already watered. So watering is one of the bigger deals with peanuts. They need lots of water to encourage germination. And for the first 60 to 100 days, water is the most critical. So you need to make sure at the beginning that it's getting lots of water. I'm going to put one, two, three, four here, and I'm just going to put them in. They're going to be closer because they're in grow bags, and I'm going to try to fill it up. I have put my inoculant on it, which is basically um, some bacteria, beneficial bacteria to help them grow. And if you pull out a plant, it'll have little dots, little pods in it, and that's the beneficial bacteria that's growing on the plant. And so that's supposed to help it grow even better. So we're gonna put it about two or three inches into the dirt. So the inoculant that I have says it's organic, but because it's still something I'm putting on it, I'm putting gloves on just, you know, one extra precaution. And this soil has not been used for peanuts before. So that's why I had to add some of the inoculant. It just helps it grow better. And this was according to a lot of resources. And I'm using um, a lot of this information from the Clemson University website, and I'll link that at the bottom, because I am in South Carolina, and Clemson has a lot of good information about growing peanuts. And this is my first time growing peanuts on purpose. I have grown them on accident before. So there's one bag. I'm only filling my bag about half because it was expensive to fill, I'll be honest. So let's plant another one. And now let's talk about growth of the peanuts. So here is my second container. And on this one, we'll talk a little bit about plant growth. So under the best conditions, they should start cracking, coming through in about five to 10 days. So at five to 10 days, I'll have an idea how they are doing. And these red ones I got came as unshelled. And so the other set that I have, the giant version that I'll plant in the other containers are shelled. You can plant them shelled or unshelled, but they are quicker to grow if they're unshelled. So at the end of this season, when I pull these out, I will, you'll follow along and we'll really know what worked and what didn't work. So the plants will grow slowly for the first 40 days or so, and then they should just take off. And once they take off, 
they'll start growing flowers. All right, let's move to another one. So after about 40 days, it'll start to produce flowers. And one of the cool things about peanuts is they will grow and the flowers will fall into the dirt and then that's where the peanuts will grow. So that's why I needed more room for my plants so that they will fall over and have room. If I just planted them in a small grow bag, I don't think I'll have enough room for the plant to fall over and find soil to grow. So one of the cool things about this grow bag that I bought, and this was just on Amazon, like I said, is it actually came with little tags to tag what I'm planting. So I'm gonna know which peanut plants better this year. So in about 110 days, I should have some peanuts that start to grow through here. So what I have to do is I have to keep these pretty moist for the next while, especially until they start popping through. But I've got quite a few in here and we're going to plant them and see what happens. So next we're going to do the jumbo peanuts, but I have to unshell them first and then we'll be back. Now we're back and we're going to do our jumbo peanuts real quick. So now we'll talk about pollinization a little bit. After about eight to 12 days, the flowers will bloom and they'll start to put their flowers down into the ground and that's where the peanuts will come from. So the inoculant I'm using, I got off Amazon and it is a nitrogen fixing inoculant. So it helps the peanuts get nitrogen from the air, which is really cool because peanuts are legumes and they can get the free nitrogen that is in the air and put it into the ground. So like I said, it'll refill the ground with nitrogen so next year I might not do peanuts in the same bag or I will might not even have to inoculate because there already be some of the beneficial bacteria which is what we're adding to the dirt when we inoculate our peanuts. How we did that is we basically just mixed the inoculate which is like a peat mixture with the beneficial bacteria that is already in the ground but it might not be the amount we need or the kind we need. We made a slurry with water and we put them in and then we let them sit for a little bit. And then the trick is you have to put them into the ground pretty quick right after you inoculate the peanuts. So now all of my grow bags that I have, have my peanuts covered and hopefully ready to go. Like I said, this is my first time and there will be some trial and error. So if you wanna follow along, and hopefully you learned a little bit like I'm learning as we're going along. So I'll have to come out here, especially at the beginning every day and make sure that the soil stays moist. We're in about 110 days from now, we will come back and we will pull out these peanuts. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in 110 days.